Yo, g'day guys, what's going on? 99, one at a time here. Woo, attack, episode two, currently 75 attack, 93 combat, 1,861 total level. I am gonna go get some defenders very soon, and I am gonna prove to you guys how bad my RNG really is. So when I go for the defenders, I'm gonna collect like 10,000 warrior guild tokens and see if that'll actually be enough to get me a Dragon Defender because I don't believe it will. I have a terrible drop rate with every single thing in this game. I mean, like recently I had to kill 14,000 freaking imps to get the champion scroll, like what is that? As I said in the last video, this is not where I train. Of course, in the last video I was referring to sand crabs. Currently, most of my training is done AFKing mobile at Nightmare Zone. So I get really close to a level, then I leave, and then I come out and I find some monsters to kill to get a level on. And there you go, level 76 attack. Alright, it is time to start the grind of 10k warrior guild tokens. 40 tokens per kill. That's 250 times I have to kill this thing to get 10k tokens. Yay, over 1000 tokens, one tenth of the way there. Oh my god, I'm so bad, I missed it. Level 77 attack. I know I missed a few levels there, but level 80 attack! How good. 2,200 Warrior Guild token points, 7,800 left. And you know what I realized? 10,000 Warrior Guild tokens is probably enough for like 16 hours worth. I don't think I need that long in here. 5k, I am halfway there. By the way, before you all comment, I know 10,000 is very unnecessary, but it's what I am aiming for. I was in my own little world, 81 attack. All right, there we go, 10,000 Warrior Guild tokens. Definitely a bit overkill, but hopefully we never have to do that again, so we can now officially start getting some defenders. All right, we are about to enter the Cyclops' domain. We have 10,000 Warrior Guild tokens. I think I'll have the Defender within 3,000 tokens. I'm not sure why I farm 10k. Something different, I guess. Obviously, judging by my account, I love stupid pointless grinds. Well now, Bronze Defender, only 90 tokens in, and this is one of the ones I can wield, obviously, because of the one defense requirement. So obviously Iron is the next one, and that's the best defender I can use. I'm not sure on the stats difference between that and the Unholy Book. I think the Unholy Book is still a little bit better, but once we get that Iron Defender, I will check it out. A big boy level 82 attack coming in. What combat level am I? 96? Yeah, beautiful. 320 down, we hit the Iron Defender. Now, just comparing this to the Unholy Book for a quick second, it still looks like the Unholy Book is quite a bit better. It's got better attack bonuses, same melee strength bonus, but a huge prayer difference. So we are going to stick with the Unholy Book. I am sorry, Iron Defender. What the hell? Literally two kills later, still Defender. <laughs> oh my god. Time to go for the black one, I suppose. 440 tokens, Black Defender. That is currently halfway. I've got four defenders. There is four more defenders to get. We have the Mithril, Adamant, Runite, and Dragon. So halfway with 440 tokens spent. I definitely, definitely, definitely went overkill with these Warrior Guild tokens. What the hell? How did I miss that? Level 83 attack coming in. Oofed. That's huge, 84 attack, one more level until we are quarter of the way, until level 99, still sitting on 96 combat. I think I'll be level 100 by the time I hit 99 though. 3 million attack XP. Another defender to the collection, 550 points in. Holy smokes, 40 tokens later. It's about four minutes later, we get the Adamant Defender. This is the quickest like time I've ever gotten these. I feel like it usually takes me forever. Yes, Rune Defender. I can leave this room. I can go get the Dragon Defender now. I've only used 640 tokens. I've been in here for 64 minutes. It has only taken me an hour to get the Rune Defender. I'm pretty happy with that. I know defenders are pointless doing attack with only one defense because, you know, I can only wield the Iron Defender. And I also know I didn't need to farm 10,000 Warrior Guild tokens because the attack cape lets you get in there for free. You do not need to farm Warrior Guild tokens if you have 99 attack. 
Now I know I could have waited till I had 99 attack before I got the defenders. I could have done them while doing defense because, you know, it would have been more efficient that way, that's for sure. But I had this whole idea in my head that it was literally going to take me 12 hours to get all these defenders because my account is cursed for RNG. So that's mainly the reason why I wanted to do the warrior kill tokens just to see how many I would use before getting the dragon defender. But I honestly think now that it has only taken me 640 tokens to get you know, the rune defender, that I'm probably going to get the dragon defender before even using a thousand tokens. So, I mean, I spent a lot of time trying to get 9,000 tokens for nothing, but I'm really not that fussed. It was only really an extra hour, hour and a half of killing the rune armor to get them 9,000 tokens, but it's done. We can move on. Let's get the dragon defender. There she is. Took a little bit longer than we expected. We have 8,860 tokens left. And we have the Dragon Defender. We have used 1,140 warrior tokens out of our 10,000 in exactly 327 Cyclops kills. There she is. Level 85 attack. That is quarter of the way done till 99 attack. Oh yes, level 86 attack with 97 combat. Level 87, closing in on 4 million attack XP as well. And there she is, 4 million attack XP. Level 88 attack, 98 combat, Oof, almost level 100. Wow, 20 million nightmare zone points. I wonder how much GP that transfers into. I've decided I am gonna do monkey madness one. I don't know why I'm doing it now, better late than never. I should have done it when I was level 60 attack, so that I could use, you know, the dragon see me from 60 to 70, but that's fine. It's gonna be a good boost to my defense level when I start doing that. I think I'll get 35k XP straight off the bat. Puzzle is easy, boys. Oh shit, don't kill me. Well, that was pretty easy. I guess that's what happens when you're almost max combat. Woo, Monkey Madness is complete. That quest did not take as near as long as I originally remember it taking. Unfortunately, I cannot claim the XP just yet as that will level defense and I don't want to do that until 99 attack, but that'll be a good start to my defense leveling. I had this cool idea of something that I could do. My idea was to purchase a white two-handed sword from Sir Vivian. This is obviously for the elite Falador diary task. One that'll probably take a lengthy amount of time. To purchase a white two-handed sword from Sir Vivian, you need to kill 1300 Black Knights and obviously complete the quest wanted. Now, I was gonna go out of my way to do the quest wanted until I looked it up on Google. It gives 5000 Slayer XP. That is not something I can do. I can't level Slayer, obviously, as per my restrictions. So I'm not killing any Black Knights now. Unfortunately, I did not get it during Monkey Madness, but we are about to hit level 89 attack and we also hit 1875 total level. 25 levels away from 1900, which obviously will be done doing a defense, which is up to attack. All right, change of plan. Since I can't kill 1300 Dark Knights for the Falador Elite, I am going to kill all three Dagonoth bosses for the Fremenic Elite with just some noobs from the clan chat. Yay, completed an Elite Fremenic task. Level 90 attack! Well, we didn't get any drops, but I really only went for the Elite Diary bit anyway. It would have been nice to get another drop. We have been there before and gotten an Archer's Ring, but uh, this time, no luck. Now the reason I'm here at the moment also is because apparently I did agility that long ago that it didn't count towards the achievement diaries. I guess it was at a time before the achievement diaries were even a thing. And so that's why a complete a lap of the Relica agility course isn't ticked off. But now it is. All right guys, thanks for watching the video. Currently 90 attack, still 98 combat, hoping to hit 99 attack soon probably within the next video. I still haven't got my champion scrolls done yet. I still need to farm earth warriors and I still need to farm lesser demons. That is gonna be done before we hit 99 attack. And after attack, we are moving on to defense. Once again, thank you everybody for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Catch you later.